Here in the northern part of Florida, we have these pesky critters called love bugs. I don't know how much of the country they plague, but if you don't have them, you are very blessed, <laughs> let me tell you. Uh, they will splat all over your windshield, all over the front of your vehicle. It's just about impossible to get them off, but you have to try to scrub them off because otherwise, if you turn your windshield wipers on, it smears them all over the window and you can't see, and they will actually eat the paint off of your car. So, not cool at all. And it's never been an easy task until today. I literally just took this super clean uh, cleaner and degreaser, which is an all-purpose cleaning product, and sprayed it on the windshield liberally, make sure that whole area is wet, and then just let it sit. Man, I have been so impressed with Super Clean products. Um, I'm so glad they reached out to us. I'd never heard of them before they reached out to us about being a uh, sponsor on our channel, and I'm glad they did. Uh, we, have, we have enjoyed trying their products out on different things around the farm here, and love bugs are not easy to get off of a windshield. Usually, the best time of day is to hit it in the morning after they've been marinating all night with the dew and then get some window cleaner and a razor blade and scrub them off or scrape them off with a razor blade. That's been about the easiest way for me to get them off. Um, and they'll, your windshield fills up one day of driving and you can't even hardly see out of it. You can still see the corner back here uh, where the wipers didn't hit. But I literally sprayed this on there, let it sit about 45 seconds, and then turned my windshield wipers on with the washer fluid water and uh, it wiped it right off. I mean, you see it, I didn't have to scrub at all. It was, it's awesome, man. So if you're looking to get love bugs off of your windshield, I highly recommend Super Clean. This stuff is amazing. It's a great all-purpose cleaner. Um, I've seen it in stores at Lowe's and Tractor Supply. I know they are in most box stores um, in the cleaning aisle. Go check them out on, even on their website, superclean.com. They give a list of all the locations that they sell their products and uh, you will not be disappointed i can assure you thanks to super clean for sponsoring this video now let's watch the uh wild hawk canoe race welcome to the wild hawk canoe race it is race day and we are getting set up ready to go uh, we spent all day yesterday uh, and through the night getting set up and ready for the race and the race is finally here. So registration just opened up a few minutes ago. The Skeeters are biting good. And uh, thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride. Thanks for joining us. All right, if I can have your attention, please. It'll be just a few moments before we start with the ceremony and then get the race started. We apologize for the delay, but the great news is we've had such a great turnout this year that we're behind. So thank you all for coming out today to participate. Should be just a couple minutes left and we'll get everything started up and get the race going. So a few minutes. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and a rocket red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag 
was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the Go get them. <laughs> the Wild Hog Canoe Race is estimated to be between 10 and 15 miles long, with the fastest boats usually finishing in just under two hours, and the slowest boats will take sometimes up to five or six hours. It's not a docile peaceful river either there are a ton of rocks and logs in the river uh, there's big trees that are across the uh, river blocking your way uh, and even one set of rapids good how are you doing y'all are doing great If you're one of the first boats to go down the river, you may often see alligators, some otters, uh, sometimes you even see some deer, and of course snakes and spiders, plenty. <laughs> uh, everyone starts out pretty strong, but it's usually, after, after a couple hours of paddling, you're exhausted by the time you get to the end of the race. Good job, guys. You guys are looking good. Woo! You got the finish line. All right. Don't beat us there. This is how big the skeeters are down here. We have 11 different classes of boats uh, for folks to enter in the race and uh, 
so that way everybody has a chance to compete and win uh, in their division. Um, this year we actually added a paddleboard class because there was quite a bit of interest. Uh, we had tried it out a few years back and it, it really didn't do anything, but uh, there were there were seven or eight paddle boards that got in the uh, paddleboard class this year. I definitely would not want to go down the Risk River on a paddle board. <laughs> that would be miserable. Five, four, three, two, one. See ya. See ya. I got it. Four, three, two, one. See ya. Five, four, three, two, one. See ya. Woo! Well, the boats are launched. There were 153 boats that were present and started the race today. We had about 175 or so uh, that were registered. Some of them didn't show up. So, but there's still a record number of boats for this race ever in the history of, of the Wild Hog Canoe Race. Uh, so we're pretty excited. So. We're down here at the finish line now. Uh, festivities are all going, food's being served. We've got lots of activities for the kids. So I'll show you around a little bit. We've got like bounce houses. Uh, we have a Duncan tank this, this year. Uh, we've got petting zoo, zip lines, you name it. We got all kinds of fun stuff. So I'll show you around. This is the 45th year for the Wild Hog Canoe Race, and all of the money that we raise goes to the Ark of Levy County. This money comes from race day with the registration fees and the food and the merchandise and the raffles that we have, uh, but it also, throughout the year, my, my parents host uh, uh, up to a half dozen yard sales uh, to help raise money for the Ark as well with donated goods that people give us uh, throughout the year. They'll donate and when we have enough raised up, uh, they'll have a sale. 
that enables us to be able to give ARC somewhere between twenty and twenty-five thousand dollars each year. Of course, all of this would not be possible without people like you purchasing items, coming to the event, buying food, merchandise, and helping support us with sponsorships, which we greatly appreciate. We have these two logs at the finish line that we put in as obstacles just to make it a little more interesting for the spectators to watch and they have to go over the logs with their canoe so they have to push their canoe over and they have to go over as well so it's not easy to do especially after you've ran the whole entire race and you're wore out you got to still go over these logs so it's uh it makes for an interesting time for the fans
Let's go, battle, battle. That big old gator behind you isn't thinking that. He's looking for dinner. You made it. All right. Here comes the battle board. So I'm actually up on the bridge. One of the things we do here is we raffle off uh, raffle tickets for a duck race. And we've got these little ducks. We write the number on the bottom and the ticket that sells has a corresponding number, uh, one through 200. So we, uh, when we got done selling the tickets, we take out the ducks that didn't sell. And now I'm gonna actually dump them in the river. I'm just waiting on the racers to get through so that we don't dump them on their head. We'll dump them in the river here and let them drift all the way down to the finish line. And first, second, and third ducks to reach the finish line are the uh, the winners. So unfortunately, I can't film when I dump this because I'll end up dropping my phone, but I'll film them as they come in. Just find my number and make sure it's first. Yeah. 48. Yeah. No, geez. So what happens with ones that are stuck? Yeah. Yeah. Looking for a bit of 45, looking for a bit of 40. Who's going to give it to 45? Looking for a bit of 45. Anybody else want to come in? But Eddie. I got a 40, I got a 45 right there, now 50. Got a 45 back here, now 50. Who's gonna come in? I got a 50, now 55. I got a 50 back there, now 55. Anybody else wanna come in the bidding? I got a 55, now 60. Got a 55 dollar bear, I got a 60, now 65. I got a 60 dollar, I got a 65, now 70. I got a 65 back here, now 70. I got a 70, now 75. I got a 70, I got a 75, now 80. I got a 75 dollar bill, now 80. I got an 80, now 85. I got an 80, I got an 85, now 90. I got an 85 right here, now 90. Looking for a bit of 90. I got a 90, now 95. I got a bit of 90, now 95. Got a bit of right there, now 90. Looking for a bit of 95, but you can get 95. Anybody else want to come into the bidding? I got a ninety dollar bill right here, and a ninety-five. Anybody else want to come into the bidding? I got a ninety-five. I got a ninety-nine, ninety-five. Looking for a ninety-five. I got a sold for ninety dollars. Seconds. Holton, Holton, great job. Second place for mixed class house and Carrero. Uh, two hours, 25 minutes, and 49 seconds. Great job. Off to the right over there for the pictures. Garner and Fiducia, two hours, five minutes, 53 seconds. And first place, first place for experience class is Price and Johnson. One hour, 50, one hour, 52 minutes, and... 38 seconds. Price and Johnson. Second place in one man canoe goes to T. Owens. One hour, 56 minutes and 24 seconds. Congratulations. And first place in the one man canoe goes to Edwards at one hour and 46 minutes on the nose. Congratulations. Thank you. And so we just want to thank you and we're going to close in prayer. Our Father, we again pray and ask that you would bless each and every person here, everyone that participated, and that you will help everyone to make it home safely. We love you. We praise you. Thank you that no one was injured or hurt in any kind of way. And we just thank you in Jesus name. Amen. Thank y'all.